In this video, I will show you how to make this exact water simulation in Blender using the built-in MantaFlow physics. Okay, so let's start off by creating the pool. So uh, press S, then Shift Z to scale it only on the X and Y axis. And then press Tab for edit mode, go to face selection, and then X to delete the top face. And then you can press S, then Shift Z again to scale it on the X and Y axis. And then we're going to add a solidify modifier, which adds some thickness to the pool. Well, I'm going to set it something like this. And then we apply the modifier before we add the physics. And then we go into the physics settings, fluid, and then effector. This is going to turn it into an obstacle for the water. Now we can increase the number of sampling substeps. And then because it's unclosed, we can enable this uh, planar as well. And then press Shift A and add a cylinder. This is going to be the water inflow object. And then press R, X, then 90. And then we can go to the side view. So press numpad 3 for the side view. And then press G to grab. I'm going to set it around here. Then you can press S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. So something like this. And then you can press S and Shift Y to scale it only on the set and X axis. And then for the physics, we'll add the fluid physics, and then flow, and then flow type to liquid, and then the flow behavior to inflow, so that it continuously flows into the scene. And then for initial velocity, we can uh, make it move on the Y axis. We need it to move a few units negative on the y-axis, so let's set it to minus 4. And then next, we need to add the domain, which is the border of the simulation. So I press Shift A and add a cube, press S to scale, and then S and Shift Z to scale it only on the x and y-axis, and then we can add the domain physics, and press S then Z to scale it on the z-axis, and then let's save before we continue. So just give it a name, save it where we want on the computer, and then press enter to save, and set the domain type to liquid. I'm also going to increase the resolution to make it look better. And then we can also enable diffusion and mesh, so that we can actually see the water. Okay, and then set the type to all, and is resumable, so that you can pause the bake. Okay, and after a few minutes of uh, baking, you can see that we have the simulation. I think the inflow object is a bit too big, so we get too much water into the scene. So I'm going to scale up the pool and scale down the inflow object. So S, then Shift Y. And then I'm going to select the domain once again and free the bake, and bake again. I sped up this part of the recording, but uh, the bake actually takes a few minutes. I think I'm just going to reduce the size of the inflow object a bit more, and then do a new bake with an even higher resolution, so that the water looks much better. So uh, free all. Then I'm going to save one more time. And then I'm going to set the resolution to 250. If you have a very slow computer, you should set it a bit lower, because this is going to take some uh, time. And after about an hour of baking on my computer, we now have the simulation. The simulation is uh, fine. It uh, does splash a bit over the pool, but uh, I think that's okay. If you want it to uh, stay in the pool, you can just make the pool a bit higher or reduce the size of the inflow object or to uh, reduce the initial velocity value. Okay, and then we can press Shift A, and then press S to scale. This is the plane. And then press G, then set to grab it on the z-axis. And then we press Tab for edit mode. Go to edge select, 
and let's select these two edges. Hold in shift to select multiple edges, and then E, then set to extrude on the set axis. Then G, then shift set to grab it only on the X and Y axis. And then I'm going to move the cursor to the cylinder and add another cylinder on top. So press R, X, then 90. S to scale, then bat 3 for side view. Let's go to wireframe and press G to grab. S to scale. And we're going to turn this cylinder into a tube. So G then Y. And then let's go into edit mode. So tab for edit mode, face select, and then select this face, E, left click, then S scale down the extrusion and then E again to extrude inwards and S to scale and then we need to go in to the edge selection and then hold in alt and shift to select the edge loops and we also need to select the one inside and then press N and then set the increase value to 1 so that when we add the subdivision service modifier, the uh, shape of the uh, tube is not ruined, but it now has a higher resolution. Okay, and then press Control Shift S. I'm going to save one more time. And then next, we need to add the lighting. So we'll select the light. Let's turn it into a sun. Set the strength to uh, 5. And then you can press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And then next we need to select the water. Let's create a new material. Let's make it a glass material. Set the roughness to zero. And then the IOR to four divided by three, which is the IOR for water. And then we need to switch to cycles so that it looks better. It's going to be a bit slower, but it's worth it. Then we're going to use the GPU for rendering. And then we can also add some colors to the rest of the objects. So for the pool, we can make it a uh, diffuse object that's blue. You can, of course, add any color that you want. Then I'm going to make uh, the tube glossy. And then make it a bit darker. I think this looks nice. And uh, then you can choose to hide the inflow object if you want to. We can also change the color of the background. So uh, you can make it wider, for example. And then I'm going to go into edit mode and make the floor and the wall a bit taller. Okay. And then we can set up the camera. So press Control Alt Numpad Zero to set the camera to the current point of view and then lock the camera to view. Let's set it around here. Which looks decent. And then once you're done with the colors, we can go in to the output settings and the render settings. So set the resolution to 4K. You can of course just leave it at 100%, which is 1080p. And then you can select a folder for the final render create a folder for all of the PNGs, and then you convert them into an MP4 file later. I have a tutorial on that on my channel. Okay, so everything looks nice. And then to start to render, you just go to render, and then render animation. And that's it for this video. If you want more Blender tutorials, you can subscribe and uh, check out my other videos as well.